Hey, my name is JJ. You're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. Let's talk about high-end real estate, specifically here in San Diego. Now, there has been a slowdown in the housing market, but real estate is still moving. Slow down, but it is moving. And prices are still very elevated, even from just a few years ago. Um, we have seen several months of month-over-month -month price declines, but I was at a property last night. I was at a little get-together, a little uh, celebration, and the owner of this home, it's probably going to be their last celebration at this property. It's a very nice house. It's on the market right now for $2.8 million. Uh, we're going to pull it up here in Redfin and show you what it sold for just a few years ago. It's on the market now. It's pending sale, actually, for $2.8 million. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, folks. So here's me at this property last night. And this was a, a little get-together, a gathering. This barn back here has been converted into a uh, kind of a rec room and it's uh, two stories it's pretty cool we'll take a look at more of that here later and i can't play the audio because there was some music playing in the background and um i don't want to get copyright strike yes i had a drink in my hand <laughs> no i didn't drink that much actually i don't think i finished that glass there i'm not not a big drinker uh but that's just me and here's the house and this was a house built in the late 1890s 1896 if i'm not mistaken and it's currently on the market for $2.8 million. But even though home prices have come down in the past few months here in San Diego County, this seller is making a huge profit on this property. And he only purchased it back in 2018. So let's take a look at the Redfin listing on this. Here it is right here for sale. Eight bedroom, six bath for just under $2.8 million. And let's take a look at the price of what this seller paid for this home just a few years ago. 2018, June 2018, $1.5 million. Selling it now for $2.8 million. Right, so a very hefty profit in just four years. All right, let's take a look at the property here. It's a very nice property, as we can see here. That's the front of the house. That's the rec room that I was standing in front of, which is basically a barn that's converted into a rec room. That's the second story of the rec room. And there's the outside of the rec room, which is basically a barn converted into a rec room. You see a nice pool, a nice covered area around the pool. And we'll just scroll through the pictures here real quick. And then we're going to talk about prices. There's one bedroom that has four bunk beds in it. Wow, this can sleep a lot of people. You can see they still have the traditional uh, fixtures in there a lot of times. Older style looking rug and table, etc. Built in the late 1890s. Okay, so you get the point. Now, even if I had the type of money right now to purchase a property like this, I wouldn't do it at this time. Because I think there's a, a lot bigger price corrections ahead, especially in markets like here in San Diego. All right, and this is Chula Vista, so it's South County. But it's all considered San Diego real estate, San Diego County. Now let's take a look at what's happening in some other, other high-end real estate markets. The tide is turning in South Florida's frenzied luxury home market. This is out of Mansion Global. Big ticket sales are down. Well, the hurricane scared a lot of buyers away. But take a look at some of the big price decreases and declines. All right, and this is about Palm Beach. High end, the top 10% of sales, the median sales price was $14.6 million. That is a 31% drop in three months, in just three months. And that's down 15% now annually, Palm Beach. Also, sales are down 60% from the second quarter. So second quarter... The third quarter sales down 60%. Down the coast in Miami Beach, look what's happening. Miami Beach sales dropped 33%, but the median sale price is down to just under 14 million from 21 million in the previous quarter. So a drop of $7 million just from one quarter to the next. That is an enormous drop. No matter how rich you are, let's say you pay $21 million for a home and three months later, it's going for $14 million. That's got a sting. 
knowing that if you would have just waited a few months, you could have gotten a, a home, the same home for $7 million less. Now back to this home, the one that I was just at last night, you've got to wonder what this buyer has planned for this property. We're in a declining market. So the value of this property, my guess it's going to be several hundred thousand dollars less uh, in, in a few months from now. And it really makes me wonder what the buyers of this high-end real estate are thinking. Do they not do research? Do they not see that the market is turning? Or is the buyer maybe just so wealthy that they don't care if it drops? Just they're going to buy it now and uh, that's it. All right. So we'll check back on this property in a few months. I promise we'll see uh, what the values are going for. Uh, in the meantime, just wanted to let you know that markets are changing. Real estate's changing. But location is so important. Look at Florida compared to California. Florida, the huge 30 plus percent drop in high end real estate. And Florida is the state that people flocked to after the health crisis rolled out in 2020. And it's one of the markets that we warned about because so many people flocking to one area at once really creates a, uh, a price surge and it makes for a very vulnerable housing market and a very uh, risky time to purchase after a huge run up. All right, so another lesson learned, this time high-end real estate. What do you guys think down in comments? Would you pay $2.8 million for this? Let's say you had $10 million in the bank and you were going to be a cash buyer. Would you wait? Would you buy this at $2.8 million? Maybe turn it into an investment property. Maybe uh, rent it out on weekends for parties. Uh, Airbnb it, something like that. Please let me know down in comments. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye for now. Keep stacking. See you next time.